Well up people and welcome to my channel John and Shepherd Fitness. Today I'm going to be doing a push workout. So if you don't know what a push workout is, it's basically your chest, your shoulders and your triceps. Um, I'm going to be going through my workout, what I do on a Monday as it is Monday today. I'm going to be doing a talk over from it because I'm not going to be talking in the gym because there's always people in there and it's is weird sometimes so let's get in the gym and show you this push workout routine go, let's go. so then i decided to start off with shoulder press today yeah overhead press but seated don't usually do this i usually do it standing so I'm just warming up the joints at the start. I would suggest to warm up before any exercise. You will pull, you could pull something if you don't warm up. So at the moment I'm trying to build muscle. So obviously I'm talking about hypertrophy. I want to do at least four sets, trying to get the 12 to 15 rep range. And today I was quite strong on shoulders. It was quite impressive. Here I'm hitting 50 kg for 12, and I did this three sets, and then I lowered the set on the last one because my uh, my shoulders just fatigued. I don't usually do shoulders first, but I thought I'd see how my strength was in shoulders. Then I went on to incline. I like to alternate. Sometimes I do flat first. Sometimes I do incline sometimes I do decline but I decided to do the Smith's machine today a uh, bit more strict form you know so my arms can't go nowhere and so far the workout is going quite well I was actually hitting my targets and everything was going fine until I hit the flat bench if you're hearing noises, it's because I'm outside and cars are going past. Anyway, then I went and did a terrible flat bench. Obviously, you're going to do a working set and it's like 80, well, 70% your max weight. Last week, I was hitting five reps at 100. Today, I was struggling to do six reps. As you see, I even failed the last one and I couldn't do it. And that was 85. Don't know, probably because I did the shoulders and the incline. Then I went on to dips. This is obviously what works the lower part of your chest with a weighted belt. So I was doing 10 kg plus body weight um, and fine. I didn't feel too good and it was just, I don't know what was wrong. Um, it seemed my isolation moves were fine, but when I was coming to the compound moves, I couldn't really get the weights up. Um, finished on the chest press machine, uh, just to get that nice contraction in the chest. I suggest when you're doing any sort of workout to finish on a, like a machine like this, whatever body part, you know, lower the weight down, try and get at least 12, 15, 20 reps, you know, and just really nice squeeze at every contraction at the top. Um, obviously, you can't see my head, which is not a big shame because who wants to see my face? But I finished the chest then on pec deck, 15 reps. What you want to do is you want to think, you want to basically want your elbows touching I know you can't do that physically but that's how you use this machine don't use your shoulders if your shoulders start going forward you're getting your shoulders involved in this workout and you're not going to be working the chest so lead from the elbows and trust me you will feel a greater pump in the chest so then I started doing my shoulders again and lat raises by far one of my favorite moves i'm actually it's weird 
how I decreased in my shoulder um, in my chest today my shoulders was just on fire I don't know why it's weird um, I did like four sets of this but I did it with a super set with lightweight 6 kg controlled lat raises and then front lat raises and this was no reps it was just until I couldn't physically do any more and I did like four sets of this and it's a killer if you've never tried this try it because it's a burnout especially when you're finishing off a move like your shoulders you want that burn at the end so you can't physically feel anything your shoulders are aching for ages after and it does the wonders then I went on and finished with my triceps uh, I'm not a big fan of these I actually can't remember what you call them at the moment it, my memory's gone blank I think it's because my arms are not that long and my head's that massive I keep on banging my banging the dumbbell on the back of my head but it's a great builder for that bottom part of the tricep then love my little kickbacks you don't need big weights for this 6 kg 8 kg is fine I did 12 reps four rep four sets of this and make sure you have your elbow as high as possible when you're doing this and every time you get to the full contraction squeeze that tricep because that will grow your muscles bigger right obviously did it both sides because it's so so I don't have one dodgy arm and one baby arm and basically that was it on the dumbbells I felt obviously my triceps are my strongest part of my body and I just I never fatigue on triceps I could go all day doing triceps then I went on to tricep pull downs which I absolutely love this is gonna get that shoe horn that shoe horn horseshoe effect um, in your tricep the other part of the tricep um, what you want to do is you want you don't want a straight bar you want a bent bar so and then push down and well there you have it there's my push day oh absolutely weak on bench today um, if you've been watching my videos recently I'm talking about like I feel like I'm gonna be sick like I go Ugh. it came on today I haven't had it for two weeks um, it must be work I must have something to do with work and <laughs> but um, what happened it what happened is it's when I was doing my bench pressing I started getting it I don't know if it's it's not nothing to do with the bench press it's probably something just to do with what I'm eating before I work out maybe because I rush when I go to, when I finish work what I do is I basically try and get some food into me so I get a bit of energy because depending on what my work is say today I'm only on 20 hours this week and that means I don't get a break, I only do four hour shift, which is absolutely crap. But if um, basically I have something to eat before I go to work and then I have something to eat when I finish work and then probably about half an hour I get to the gym and I think it's obviously affecting me. Um, before I went to work I had some I just had a sandwich and that was it you know just a sandwich a cheese sandwich and it's obviously something to do with dairy products I'm, I'm sure it is obviously proteins dairy my porridge I put milk in which is dairy um, and it's stodgy and um, obviously bread is stodgy when it's digesting uh, protein is thick well you could say not stodgy but it's thick and I think my digestive system is not coping with the actual quantity of that food. Maybe I need to change my diet in like that. Maybe I, I just can't, my body can't handle dairy or that sort of dairy. Obviously I can handle dairy because I could eat loads of cereal uh, and milk, but obviously to do with 
it, it comes out when I'm doing my workout. So it's something to do with when I work out and my digestive system, maybe it's because when I'm, I'm pushing, I'm pushing my body and obviously I'm not a doctor. Something's happening to my actual body where it's making me just like want to heave. I'm not actually being sick. I'd, want, I'd be quite happy if I was sick because then I'm just sick. But it's annoying because I'm not actually being sick. It's not because I'm working my ass off at the gym and I've, you know, I'm just physically sick because you can do that if you're really, really pushing it. It's nothing to do with that. So I do not know what it is. Obviously, I should have gone to the doctors, but I'm, I'm just annoyed by how they run their service now where you've got a book. I start at eight. So you have to book in at eight o'clock. Obviously, so I can't get there. I went Monday to Friday. I don't know if they're open Saturday. So this Saturday, I think I'm gonna go and get it sorted. You know, my ankle has been fine, obviously, because I've been working. So that's all right, but I'm gonna start treating that. I don't want it to start playing up again now. But that is my push workout. I mean, other than the chest, my, I got a, I did a 50 kg on the actual, um, I did a 50 kg on the actual overhead press, which I'm really happy about. I think I'm gonna start doing seated ones. I think it feels a bit more stable, a bit more on my back. Obviously, when you're pushing heavier weights, your, your, your back bends, and then when your back bends, when you're doing overhead press, your, your chest sort of gets involved with it, and that's not what I wanna do. I wanna be strict. What I'm doing today, what I was doing today is not the same what I'll do the next time I do a push uh, session. So say if I've done like barbell work, which is a heavy compound, say I did the, I did the chest, I did incline, uh, and I did dips, which I would, I'm always gonna do the weighted dips because I think it's still the best exercise to do the lower part of the chest and it works triceps. But what I'm trying to say is when I do that, so next time I will go under dumbbells because I want to not just section one workout and just do press on barbells and just, I wanna do both. Do I, I did try and do it both at the same time on a workout and I'm just in the gym for too long. It doesn't, your body does not want to be in the gym for that long. I mean, if I did incline, decline, uh, flat on barbell, and then I did it on dumbbells as well, I'm not gonna get the best out of my actual body, my workout. I did my first compound move, which was a shoulder, and I was strong. Oh, piss off. Oh, I did shoulders first on the, on the bar, and I was strong. I do 50 kg and I was doing it easy, you know, except for the last rep, but I was doing it easy. I was doing the sets fine. Um, Smith's machine on incline. It's weird because it's strict more form, which I like, but it just feels like I'm, I'm weaker on the Smith's machine. I can actually incline more on a proper barbell than I can on a Smith's machine. It's just weird it, when I don't get it because I was doing 50, 60, 60 on incline when I know I can do a lot more than that. Um, but I think today my chest was just tired. I don't know why my chest is tired. Maybe because I did so well on my, um, maybe because I did so well on my actual overhead press that I tired and exhausted my shoulders a bit, obviously. Um, and I know you don't get your shoulders involved when you do chest, but they do come in a little bit, especially on incline. And, you know, when you fatigue a part of the body, which complements another part when you're doing a workout, it's, it's gonna fatigue. If you're gonna do bench press at the start on the dumbbells, you're not gonna be as strong on the barbell after, you know, unless, unless you're super strong and you've got super uh, metabolism and it's just absolutely like, you're just like some sort of superhuman, you're not gonna be able to do the same strength or the same reps every single time because you're always gonna be stronger on the first exercise you do, no, no matter what you do. Um, 
So what I've done in this workout, I sort of alternate between the workouts. So I won't do all chest straight away. I'll, do, I'll try and give my chest a rest. So what I did was I'll go on to shoulders and then I'll go on to chest and then I'll go on to shoulders again. And then, you know, I'll go on to a chest movement just so I can give my chest a little bit of a rest and, or, and my shoulders a bit of rest. Doing it all in one go, you do burn out very easy and I suggest personally if you're going to do a push day you do it that way you can do it all chest or then shoulders at the end and I, what I find out when you've done all chest when you get to shoulders you're very tired and you don't seem to you seem to not have the energy as much to do the shoulders depending on what you do because obviously shoulders are very small muscle and they burn out a lot quicker so and also using your doing a chest you will incorporate your shoulders a little bit so whatever suits you obviously is the best for you but personally I think alternating the two movements is actually better because you're gonna have a little bit of rest between each workout and then you can actually probably perform a little bit better um, triceps today was absolutely awesome I definitely can build up the weight on triceps I was doing 15s on uh, on a weight which I actually put on more and it's my best part of my body I think my triceps have always been strong they're the strongest part of my body by far and when I start shredding I cannot wait to see what they actually look like I hate being the way I am at the moment because everybody is going in competitions and going shredding and this is the heaviest I've ever been um, yeah, I'm only uh, today I weighed myself and I was 182 um, pounds so I've gone up another two pounds which I'm absolutely happy about um, if I can put it, keep it on then I'm happy but now I've started working again obviously I'm back at work so I'm going to be burning off more calories it's it's going to probably drop off I hope it doesn't I'll just have to make sure I stay to my actual maintenance on calories uh, if it does drop off then i know i need to eat a bit more anyway i hope you enjoy this workout if you got any questions comment down below give me a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you next time